it's a pleasure to be here. It really is. I'm very excited at the moment because I'm, I'm in a new relationship. <laughs> Correct. That exciting bit right at the beginning where you go, oh, is it going to work out? The rest of them haven't. That bit, it's exciting, isn't it? I did the first thing, the Facebook stalk. We've all done that, haven't we? Go through the profile pictures, have a little look. Ooh. Ooh. All of a sudden, you're in 2008. Ooh. <laughs> Don't accidentally press like. <sighs> Whatever you do, do not press like. If you press like, you'll have to eat your computer and jump out the window, whatever you do. Don't press like. Didn't, it was fine. Went through the profile pictures, you need a bigger hit, don't you? Into the albums, boom. First album I find is called Me, You, Us, Paris. We've never been to Paris. <laughs> Shouldn't be looking at that album, that'd be a massive invasion into the privacy. But I'm looking at it, going through, becoming slowly jealous of the past. Does that happen to anybody else? Became jealous of relationships that happened before she even knew I existed. Looking through and going, oh, look at you and your ex. <laughs> look at you and your ex in Paris. Oh, look at you. Look at you having a lovely time in Paris. Look at you. Look at you at the Arc de Triomphe. Look at you at the Eiffel Tower. Look at you. Look at you. Well, it didn't work out. It didn't bloody work out. And what I found is if you put that into the comments box underneath, <laughs> The abuse you get is unbelievable, it really is. It's with a girl, my new relationship, I'm a gay. In case anyone's interested. Thanks very much. Uh, <laughs> you have to come out if you're gay, that's a weird thing to do, to tell your mum and dad. It's a weird thing to do, I had to sit my dad down. Now my dad's a proper geezer. He's a proper bloke, he's a proper man's man. He's so much of a man's man, in fact, that he can only write in capital letters. <laughs> so much of a bloke he is. He doesn't even know there's a lower case. No matter what he writes, it looks aggressive. You know, just like, happy birthday, love dad, you know? <laughs> In crayon. <laughs> On the back of a racing post. The only way it would be more sinister would be if he cut it out from a newspaper. And he's got to a stage in his life where he sneezes so loudly the cat completely shits himself. That's him. <laughs> Deems it perfectly acceptable after an Indian meal to take the hot lemony cloth and have a full bloody wash. That's him. <laughs> like, oh, your armpits as well. That's nice. <laughs> Had to sit him down to tell him, I said, Dad, I've got this thing that I've got to tell you and it's really, really stressing me out. It's keeping me up at night. It's making me feel sick in the morning. He said, don't tell me you're pregnant. I said, literally, you wish. <laughs> Just blurted out, I went, Dad, I'm gay. And oh, all right, love, fair enough. That was it. No reaction at all. Everyone else had a reaction. All of my female friends said, do you fancy me? <laughs> all of my male friends said, do you want a threesome? And <laughs> my brother said, well, you've ruined porn. So <laughs> everyone had a reaction. To which about another thing this evening, something that's really annoying me, something that one of my cousins said, actually. One of my teenage cousins says the expression, that's so gay. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much, because it means that's so shit, doesn't it? It means that. So I've decided the only time you can say that's so gay is if something so gay happens to you. Like, if I came out here tonight and I went, guys, before I even begin, I have to tell you about my night last night. I went out. All of a sudden, I was transported to a club in San Francisco. I looked down. I was wearing a dress made completely of a rainbow flag. I started dancing. As I did, 14 drag queens came and joined me, all dressed as Cher. As it's rainy men come on, I go over to the bar. When I get there, there is Alan Carr, Paul O'Grady, Stephen Fry and Graham Norton. A cushion of chat show hosts, if you like. They say to me, Suze, after these tequila slammers, we're off to Jodie Foster's house for a bit of karaoke. Do you fancy? I said, yes, I do. So I went to the cloakroom. I got my Birkenstocks and a fleecy zip up because it's nice to be prepared. When I get outside, there is a pink stretched limousine. I look in the driver's seat. It's only Dolly Bloody Part and I think this is good. <laughs> I give them a tattoo CD, in we pop it, off we go. On the way, we stop to pick up two of those little yappy dogs, do a little bit of interior design, and pick up George Michael, because he's been banned again. When we get to Jodie Foster's house, there's Claire Balding and Martina Navratilova doing a duet of I Kissed a Girl and I Liked It. Now, if that happens, you can say that's so gay, you can say it till the cows come home. <laughs> My name is Susie Ruffle, you've been delightful. Thank you very much, good night.